Well, welcome back to Harvest Log at Overbury. It is Wednesday the 7th of August. We're in a field called Farmores. Um, we, and we are in Flash, um, winter oil seed rake. Now, we've sort of slightly changed crop again um, because we had 17 mil of rain the other day on all that lovely spring barley. Uh, sorry, spring barley, winter barley straw. Um, and uh, that's obviously made that a little bit too wet. Uh, this crop being slightly more open and higher has dried faster. Um, we're currently at around 7.5% moisture, running anywhere around 4-ish tonnes a hectare, looking at that. Um, there's the field, that's where we are now. The, um, the field, this was a bit of an opportunistic field again because it was so wet last year. This was wheat um, and we basically just ran in here with the carrier, the Vargetac carrier and a bio drill to establish the crop. Um, and it's sort of patchy results, probably 75% of the field is okay, 10% of the field um, has been a write-off, um, so we put a bit of cover crop on there. Um, and then the other will be uh, kind of been all over the place really. Um, we had to put a water pipe, uh, a land drainage pipe in here in the winter because we had so much water coming out of the hill, so many springs just appearing from nowhere. Um, so we cut a uh, kind of drainage pipe in that just goes down through there, through that bit of a gap. Um, and um, we... Oh, I thought that was a bit, it's still a bit too wet there, but it's not, that's okay. Um, and then we're also leaving a little strip here. We've got six metres of game cover there, which is uh, chicory with a bit of um, buckwheat over the top of it as sort of a nurse crop. Um, and then we're just going to leave six metres of standing oil seed break there. Uh, next to that for uh, partridges really. We did it a couple of years ago um, and uh, it worked fantastically well. A great cover and actually it'll still have seeds in it in November and January, uh, November through sort of December, January but as a, as a sort of protection the partridges will get nestled under there and it'll be absolutely fine for them. So uh, yeah it's nice to get into some better yielding high, better yielding rape. We're um, sort of four and a half tonnes here now. Ooh nearly at the magic five there. Uh, we've gone down a bit now. Uh, but this is Flash, it's a slightly older variety. Um, it's a hybrid, but I do like it because it seems pretty resilient. Um, spring growth is very good, it branches very well. If you have a look down there, there's not many plants a square metre, um, and it's just branched fantastically well. So um, Flash is on the agenda and on the growing sheet for this coming year as well. Stay tuned and see how we get on.